Today we're going to be looking at stereo mix. Now what is stereo mix first of all and why is it important uh, maybe to switch on or not switch on if you're running a radio station? Well, in effect, stereo mix, or sometimes as it's known, what you hear, is literally that. Uh, what you hear, whatever goes on, whatever sounds uh, are happening on your computer, they will be captured by your sound card when it's in recording mode instead of maybe of audio going in via a microphone. By the way, that will also count if you have stereo mix enabled. Every single thing, every sound will be broadcast out. And you might be thinking, well, why would I want to do that? Well, quite simply, not everyone wants to use Winamp to broadcast with. Not everyone wants to use Winamp to actually play their music. Some people may want to use iTunes or Windows Media Player, or you may have some DJ software which you'd like to use, or maybe some professional radio automation software. Whatever it may be, if you enable Stereo Mix and you're playing audio on another piece of software, maybe even YouTube, maybe you want to share the audio content of a YouTube video to your listeners, it will be actually broadcast out via the internet, picked up by Winamp and streamed out. And the cool thing is you don't even need to do anything with Winamp, it will just sit there in the background, you don't need to play any of your files on Winamp, it will literally just act as a tool to broadcast anything that's going on on your computer out via the internet. One thing I will say, and this kind of sounds obvious, but you wouldn't believe the amount of people I see making this mistake, is that you need to remember to turn off all Windows sounds. And what I mean by this is when Windows actually comes up with an error or you get a new piece of mail in your inbox, sometimes it will make a little pip or a little ding, whatever the sound may be. Um, likewise, if you've got things like um, MSN Messenger or Skype, whenever you get a new message, a sound may play. You need to make sure all of these sounds are turned off because it can be terribly embarrassing when your listeners are hearing music and all of a sudden they can hear ding in the background. Not really a good sound for your radio station so make sure all of the sounds are turned off. You can usually do that quite easily um, by going into the sounds options uh, on Windows and just clicking at the no sound profile so it will just be silent. Everything obviously apart from your music will be silent. There will be no system sounds as such. Likewise just go into the Skype settings or Windows Live settings turn sounds off. Having said all that, let's get on with the tutorial. I want to show you now on screen how we can enable Stereo Mix on Windows 7. We're also going to have a few slides after this which will just take you through on Windows XP. The principles are pretty much the same as Windows 7 uh, for Windows Vista users, by the way. Let's crack on. Okay, so I've opened up Control Panel here. Now, Control Panel obviously is the kind of centralized hub for your computer. What we're going to do is we're going to go down and open the sound menu here. And as you can see, there's these tabs along the top. Playback, which is what is played back, how we actually hear stuff on our computer, e.g. your speakers, and there's recording. And this is where things come in to your computer. Now, at the moment, we've got it set to uh, the microphone, which I've got plugged in here, and also the uh, Realtek digital input. And you'll see here there's actually an option for stereo mix. Now, by default, this stereo mix option may be hidden. Here's what I mean. If we right click here and uncheck the option show disabled devices, this, believe it or not, is actually the default Windows setting. So any disabled devices such as stereo mix probably won't show up. So if it doesn't show up, don't panic. Simply right click and show disabled devices. Another thing I found here uh, with Windows 7 actually is that until I installed the driver specific to my sound card, there was no stereo mix option. The stereo mix option wasn't there when it was just using the default Windows drivers, which worked perfectly fine for everything else. I could hear music and everything, um, but there was no stereo mix option here until I actually installed the Realtek uh, driver for my Realtek sound card. Maybe you've got a creative sound card, whatever it may be. You might need to specifically install that driver before stereo mix will appear. And as I said, once you've done that, if it still doesn't appear, just check this show disabled devices is uh, set to on or ticked, checked there. So once we've done that, we can then enable stereo mix. First thing to do, again, just right click and select enable. And then we want to actually set that as a default device. That basically means that when we open up Winamp and start broadcasting with Shoutcast, it will automatically start uh, playing out anything that's going on on your computer because this is a default recording device. Uh, once we've done that, we can simply click on OK, and that in a nutshell is pretty much it. We've now set our computer up to broadcast out anything which we're playing on our PC, whether it be YouTube videos, iTunes, Windows Media Player, um, or any kind of other software where you can play music. It will actually be captured by your sound card 
and it will be sent to the Winamp plugin, which you'll need to have in sound card mode instead of um, Win instead of Winamp. Which and I'll just quickly show you that here. If we open up uh, Winamp here, and on the Shoutcast options, in the output tab, sorry, in the input tab, um, we have the sound card input. So once we've set it to stereo mix, we can then use this sound card input. And as you can see, if I clap my hands, you can see uh, the levels are picking me up slightly here. And that pretty much is it for this tutorial. We're going to cut now to some Windows screenshots, and I'll explain the process on Windows XP. <laughs> Web Radio Toolkit is a selection of three tools we've developed for you to make it easy for your listeners to hear your radio station. Now, the truth is, every radio station should be using these tools, but fortunately for you, not all of your competitors will be. You can get your free toolkit today for a limited time only at webradiotoolkit.com.